Hello everybody, this is uh, Itsu. I got a lot of reaction on my uh, sparking coil, cap coil number one. And uh, some uh, requests for measuring and stuff. So I put up uh, the same setup again. I have my uh, flyback in the middle with uh, a magnetically quenched uh, spark gap drive it with a MOSFET and I uh, have a small uh, function generator driving uh, this MOSFET it's running at uh, 148 kilohertz square wave 50% duty cycle and I'm uh, pulsing uh, one of the two coils I made this one is the one with the uh, high voltage wire inside and uh, I'm measuring at the moment the uh, the signal coming rec directly uh, on this uh, internal coil later on I can uh, measure the uh, the voltage or the signal coming across the uh, outside coil um, my uh, internal cables are uh, non-magnetic, uh, meaning that it's it's copper or something like that, tin coated copper. I got a uh, comment that it should be uh, iron, iron-like coaxial cable. And uh, I did some research, and the only iron or steel which is copper plated uh, coaxial cable is in the RG316 cable so I ordered some and uh, I should be able to make some uh, some measurements when I receive that cable <coughs> okay so I have my high voltage probe uh, across uh, the flyback and even though my uh, my scope is a long way from uh, this setup, uh, it goes all over the place. All my settings flip around. So what I did, I just uh, make a uh, a run and I uh, hit the stop button to make a uh, snapshot of the signal. And this is the signal I got from. Uh, the, the f one of the first one this is measured uh, on the inner cable directly from the flyback we are at uh, times thousand uh, setting for the probe we are at 500 volt per division and 50 nanosecond so this is the wave uh, form it, uh, it showed and I freezed it. Uh, the repetition frequency is 172 hertz. So although I pulse it with a uh, 100 and what was it 48 kilohertz, the spark sparks only at uh, this frequency, I guess. And uh, well, the signal peaks at 20 2600 volts. And uh, the spike is, uh, I guess this is the main spike is 10 nanosecond wide. We are at 15 nanosecond, so that could be the case. So these are the spikes and signals coming directly from the flyback. And the next uh, thing I will do is uh, measure across the outside of the tubing to see what kind of signal I got there. Okay, so I have uh, connected my probe uh, across the uh, tubing, and I will. I, I have uh, pulsed uh, again and made a freeze of uh, the signal. And we can see that the signal is uh, identical. It's only uh, some uh, 200 volts less, 180 volts less, instead of 2600 volts. It's 24. 20 
at uh, pulse width is the same and also the shape is the same. So there's not much difference in what I measure uh, directly from the flyback on the internal and what's being induced by uh, the copper tubing. Okay, I will make some, uh, some further tests and also uh, I use the other coil which has a uh, stranded copper wire inside to see if there's any difference there which had, had a uh, higher capacitance between uh, the internal and the uh, outer tubing. Uh, let me show you when it's running what kind of input I'm running. I've uh, put it on 12 volts and it's uh, drawing about 430 milliamps and the spark is running nicely. Okay, okay before I changed uh, the coils I used this second coil with this stranded internal copper wire and made a uh, kind of uh, coupling with the first coil. Uh, both coils are differently wound one is clockwise and the other is counterclockwise. And I will be measuring with the high voltage probe across the, uh, the internal stranded copper wire, speaker wire from uh, the second coil to see what kind of signal uh, there is. I will now... And we can see that the signal is much lower, 208 volt peaking. And we have some ringing at 28 megahertz. So we lose a lot of voltage uh, this way. Okay, doing some more measurements. Okay, similar measurement as before. I now have the probe across the tubing instead of the inner wire. And we have this signal. It's uh, Somewhat more peaking, 350 to 400 volts and ringing about at uh, 28 to 34 megahertz. Okay, move the coils now uh, adjacent to each other and we have even more voltage now uh, peaking 500 volts. Same 28, 30 megahertz ringing. Okay, back to the first coil, the one with the uh, high voltage wire inside. I've now hooked up uh, the flyback directly on the tubing. And I'm measuring with the high voltage probe across the uh, both internal wires. <laughs> Let me show you what happens when uh, I'm not freezing the signals. You can see that it's running out and doing nothing but uh, it's just running out of, of sync and level, everything is moving around. So uh, I will have to make a uh, snapshot again and show you the okay, result. We are back again. Uh, had to freeze it. Um, signal is uh, similar as uh, when pulsing uh, with the flyback, the internal coil, and uh, measuring on the tubing. We also have uh, some less voltage, 2340, which is similar as uh, the second uh, measurement. Um, pulse is similar 10 nanosecond and frequency well it was ringing at the high frequency in the megahertz okay now going over to the other okay, coil. hooked up my uh, other coil it has uh, speaker wire stranded speaker wire inside and it's a uh, different turn counterclockwise than the other coil uh, I pulse the inner coil and I measure the tubing 
and this is the resulting signal. It's less voltage uh, and did not change anything on the, uh, the flyback. So uh, in, instead of the 2600 volt putting uh, on the inner coil only 1940 is left so the pulse is smaller. Uh, it seems that the pulse width is somewhat faster. So we have a very narrow pulse. We are at uh, what am I? 20 nanosecond per division. So we have a very small pulse of uh, almost two kilovolt there. Okay, going to reverse it now, pulsing the tubing and measuring the inner coil. Okay, so I have my probe uh, on the uh, internal uh, stranded wires and I am pulsing the uh, tubing. I had to use some uh, clip leads because I, I try to avoid that and normally I solder things but uh, this was a little bit difficult to make. And this is the resulting signal similar as uh, with the former video I have about 1960 volts peak and 10 nanosecond pulse and a lot of ringing again in the uh, megahertz range. So it looks like that this uh, coil with this uh, high voltage wire inside which has less capacitance between the inner and the outer is uh, generating more voltage but not as much as much as uh, as being generated by the flyback uh, itself. So we have some losses there. Okay, try to come up with some other measurements and uh, perhaps I can can tune something somewhere. I'm not sure. Otherwise, uh, I will put this video on and await your reactions, if any. Thanks for watching. Okay, just to make sure that I had the same uh, input uh, as with the first coil, I hooked up again the probe uh, directly on the flyback and we have a similar signal. We have uh, 2500 uh, volts, so I hooked up uh, the flyback uh, the, uh, across the flyback directly. So we have similar situation, but uh, one coil is uh, uh, working better than the other one. Okay, thanks for watching.